This is one of the newest miniatures to come out for Warhammer The Old World and I absolutely adore it. So in today's video, I'm going to be painting this mini up while talking about how Forge World just might be saving the old world. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I've opened up my Forge World kit and looked at all of the pieces that make up this mini. And I have to say, these are absolutely gorgeous. The detail on here is so good. The little patterns that appear on her dress, the hair that's coming from the unicorn, everything in this mini is beautifully sculpted and highly detailed. And I'm really impressed. I think this looks really, really good. I can't see any errors or anything that looks like it's gonna be an absolute pain to clean up. Everything looks nice and clean. And I'm actually kind of shocked. I feel like some Sometimes with Forge World, uh, it's been very hit and miss, but this kit looks kind of immaculate, to be honest. Ten seconds later. So after having a good look at this model, there's definitely a few issues here that we need to talk about. Firstly, there are a few bubbles and holes on this model, and sadly, some of them did require a bit of surgery to extract, which means we did lose a little bit of the model. This one on the back leg is particularly bad and will require some gap filling. Otherwise, there is the usual mold line removal, which I was expecting even from GW plastic kits. Pieces went together okay-ish. Again, I knew this could be potentially an issue when working with resin, so I was prepared. But yeah, some of these pieces don't exactly fit together and will require some gap filling too. The worst offenders are the joint in the neck and the tail piece. I could have used a bit of hot water to try and mold these together, but the gap in this was rather large and I didn't want to risk warping the resin completely. Elise was much better to put together with little to no issues. To gap fill, I used Millipart rolling it into small sausages that I shoved into these crevices. I used a bit of isopropyl alcohol to smooth everything out to ensure there's no lumps or bumps. Once dried, I sanded these areas down so it's all nice and flat. I can't understate how gorgeous these casts are. The detail is beautiful and it's pretty clean and there's very little to no flash. After gluing Elise to her pretty pony and filling in any more gaps, this princess is ready for her glow up. So if you've been in the hobby for a while, you would have heard or know the name Forge World. Created in 1998, Forge World is a sub company created under the Games Workshop umbrella, dedicated to creating high quality miniatures for war games. Forge World's lineup of boutique models included Lord of the Rings, Battle for Middle Earth, Titans for Warhammer Apocalypse, and the now famous Horus Heresy series. They also generally fleshed out some of the sub-factions for armies and included rules as well. They also had a huge range of stunning campaign books full of art and lore, and these were highly regarded among the community. It's important to note that Forge World only works with resin when creating their miniatures. This again leads to its boutique nature, opting for resin instead of plastic, which can become more expensive to use, especially at such a small scale and quantity. Recently, Forge World has merged with the Games Workshop store, meaning you can still purchase some of their kits today. They just no longer have a dedicated web store. And of course, Forge World is still producing new miniatures. They've recently got his hands on the Fulgrim kit, which is from Forge World, and he had some very strong opinions about it. And if you want to watch that video, we'll link a card in the top so you can check it out. And of course, these old world miniatures are being produced through Forge World. I assume this is due to the quantity that they foresee being sold, and it's most likely going to become one of GW's more niche games, meaning that Forge World is actually a perfect home for the old world. We could do a whole video on Forge World just in itself from beginning to merger, and if that's something that you would like to see, please let us know in the comments below. That was just a brief overview on Forge World, and a bit later on we'll talk about the old world being incorporated into it. But Elise is primed and ready to be painted up, and I personally have a very nostalgic way of how I want to paint her. So I had a few choices when it came to painting this miniature. For me, this miniature reminds me of when I was a kid and I was obsessed with the old school 80, 90s cartoons. I grew up on animated shows like Lady Lovely Locks, Rainbow Bright, The Last Unicorn, which were all aimed at kids that had similar vibes and contexts, and mostly to sell toys to kids, of course. And this miniature represents just a little bit of that. However, my inspiration comes from a very niche place. In the same era, there was this book series I was obsessed with as a kid called Serendipity Book collection. Stefan Cosgrove wrote a bunch of these books and they were illustrated by Robin James. And one I particularly loved was a short book called Morgan and Me, which features a little girl with orange hair riding a grey unicorn, which I thought would be absolutely perfect to recreate into this miniature. So after adding a base coat and using the cover art as inspiration, I added in my ink washes and left this to dry before I could continue painting. Did you guys know that we have a website dedicated to all of our homebrew armies and lore? Well, now you do 
too, thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the easiest way to get started on creating your own website. To kick things off, select one of Squarespace's many templates. Templates will help you create the look and feel you need for your website. If you're wanting to get a little bit fancy and build a truly unique website, their Fluid Engine system makes it so easy, giving you customization with drag and drop blocks in just a few simple clicks. Fluid Engine works on both PC and mobile devices, ensuring your website looks great no matter what device it's on. But let's say you're ready to start selling online. Squarespace has you covered with their online store options, allowing you to sell physical and digital products online. Even physical stores can benefit from Squarespace by using the Square Reader payment system and online POS system, allowing you to keep track of your payments, inventory and shipments in one convenient place. But before we're heading off on holiday, we're gonna do a little bit of rejigging to the law library, really exploring what Squarespace has to offer and adding in the next bit of law. So if you're ready to get started on your website, check out squarespace.com slash tabletop time to get 10% off your first website or domain. All of the links will be down in the description below. And a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Okay, so now we're back to painting. And I'm gonna work my way up in contrast and saturation here to bring up the model and use that cover art as inspiration. On Painting Away, I did want to talk a little bit more about Forge World and these Old World miniatures. When Old World was released recently, we all speculated on what the miniatures could look like and be made of. I think a lot of us were hoping for plastic models, which some of these kits are. The starting boxes, the bone dragon, and a few horsemen have been made in plastic, but everything else appears to be resin. I think the Old World was intended to always be a Forge World style game. It's niche and I think it fits within the reputation the Forge World holds. It kind of just makes sense. I also wouldn't be surprised if they decided to include a bunch of other stuff later on, including some really cool campaign books. Besides, Forge World made certain game systems what they are today. Warhammer 30k Horus Heresy and Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth found its beginnings there and are still popular and beloved today. So I really do think Old World can find a home here. These miniatures are really charming and have so much personality. They have so much nostalgia representing humble beginnings and being a boutique Forge World item makes them feel just a little bit more special. Getting a Forge World kit back in the day did make you feel a little bit fancy and I don't think that magic has disappeared with Old World. So I'm really happy with how Elise is turning out. She definitely looks like a more grown up version of the Morgan and Me cover art, but I really do like the way it's turned out. Adding all of the textures to this mini was an absolute joy, especially the individual horse hairs on the unicorn. Once I was happy with how this was looking, I moved on to the base, just adding in some flowers to really bring in that sweet, magical unicorn vibe. One of the final touches I wanted to add to this model was a little bit of resin in the golden goblet she's holding. I painted the inside blue and just added a drop of UV resin and let this cure. I thought this was another fun texture to add to this model and I think it looks really cool. And I'm finally ready to show her off in some final reveals. A huge thank you to everyone over on Patreon. It's because of you guys I get to make super passionate and fun videos like this one. If you'd like to join our Patreon, you get awesome perks just by signing up and all of the links are down in the description below. Again, a huge thank you to each and one of you and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And here she is, and I'm really stoked with this paint job. There's something really magical about taking context from one thing and adding it to another. And I think in miniatures, it really is something special. I never thought I'd get to paint a unicorn on the channel. So thank you all so much for indulging me. I really did have a fun time painting up this miniature. But let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on old world? Does it spark some sort of joy or nostalgia for you? Or do you wish that they had released the kits in plastic instead of resin? Let us know in the comments below. Now this was all filmed a couple of weeks ago so I believe right now we're currently at Adepticon. So if you're in the area or you're seeing the convention please come and say hi to us. We would love to meet you and come have a chat. We're really excited to be in America. It's our first time and it's gonna be great. Otherwise that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.